On this edition of NSFW, we are joined by two internet boys made good, Rhett and Link. They used to make YouTube videos and live stream. Now they're all grows up on the IFC Network Commercial Kings premieres this Friday at 10 p.m. But first, they join us on this show. They help us make our own commercial. And we are visited by legendary blues man, Old John Smokey. It's all coming up on this edition on NSFW. Netcasts you love from people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for NSFW is brought to you by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is NSFW episode eighty one for Tuesday, June twenty first, twenty eleven. Slower and creepier. This episode of NSFW is brought to you by Netflix. Watch thousands of TV episodes and movies on your PC, Mac, iPad, iPhone, or TV instantly. All streamed directly to you, saving you time, money, and hassle. For your free 30-day trial, go to netflix.com slash twit. And by squarespace.com. That's an easy way to create a high-quality website or blog. A free trial and 30% off your new account for three months. Com and use offer code NSFW6. By my inimitable co-host, he's the one, the only, the inimitable, Justin Robert Young. What is going on, Professor J.R.Y.? Listen, there are fun episodes of this show, there are good episodes of this show, and every once in a while we get a couple of guests that, uh, that really, you know, it's, it's not even funny how much I'm excited for this. These guys are, are of our ilk, folks. Internet sensations that are making their way to uh, television with a real life big boy show on the IFC network. Folks, the commercial kings themselves, their show debuts this week on IFC. Red and Lake are here. Woo! Woo! Raise the roofs. Yes. Every roof Thank you can you find, so raise it. On, guys. Dude, this is like, you guys are the graduating seniors who went off to college last year, and we haven't seen you for a while, and then you come back, and you got this sweet new stingray, and you're picking up our girlfriends, and we don't even care, because you're so <laughs> awesome that you have graduated and gone off to college. What, it's a Camaro. Uh, okay, look, uh, I don't even know where to begin with everything. For those of you who don't know, uh, Whitney, you, guys have been doing, you guys have been doing internet stuff for about how long now? Well, we invented the internet. No, we didn't. No, we <laughs> That's didn't. That's awesome. Uh, years since since the 06s. Yeah, we started our YouTube channel in uh, June 06. We're like then, geezers. Uh, now the, fir the first time I ever saw you guys was that you're uh, obviously I kept seeing your icon on the iTunes feeds, but then I also uh, when I, right around the time I started doing the BB Live show on Ustream, you guys were sort of the big dogs over there. You were always on the front page doing the Ustream.tv stuff. Are you guys still doing live stream stuff, or is that just sort of when you're able, because I, I would imagine now that you're doing TV stuff, it complicates things. Well, we, we actually can use this as, well, it's, it's, this isn't an exclusive announcement. I would tell Let's you this say is, that this is an exclusive this announcement. This is a, an exclusive announcement just for you guys. We Special are actually beginning report. a live broadcast again. We're starting it back up every Friday night this summer at 1030 Eastern, p.m. Eastern time, right after the show airs. Every, uh, every week. Rhett Link Commercial Kings will come on every week at 10 p.m. And then every week, we're going to show the previous week's episode, an encore presentation. You can actually watch that on IFC with us because we'll be watching it live and talking about it and giving some behind the scenes and that kind of thing. 
Right what now, is this happening? is huge because every, all the experiences I had with television was that they tend to be very dicey about that kind of thing. They were, I guess, was it because you came from the internet? They trusted you to manage the brand, or, or like, is that well, something you had to negotiate for? IFC doesn't know about this. <laughs> Good. So everybody, <laughs> shut up! Awesome. Shut your filthy <laughs> mouths about yeah, this. Why are you guys that? Don't, I mean, keep don't, it. don't bring that up. We're gonna get fired. <laughs> no, I actually, I, IFC's been really cool. You know, I mean, they knew that's that's you know we we cut our teeth with our YouTube videos and our Ustream show. And so, and we, you know, we're not going to abandon that just because we've got this opportunity. It's a great opportunity with this television show, but, you know, we want to stay true to our roots. It's like when a rapper makes it big and then he's like, I'm going to build my mansion in the hood. Now, I'm not <laughs> yeah. saying we've made it big because we're not building any mansions, but I'm saying we're still going to do a live show on the internet. <laughs> yeah, what else is and good. it will be available in the hood. Uh, yeah. which I think and is I'll, wear, I'll wear like a dookie chain, you know, like, you know what the, <laughs> like the 80s rappers, like they call that a dookie chain, right? I, I yeah, never they, called it. I always, knew, I always knew it as fat gold rope. Yeah. It's like uh, a dookie. You know what? I'm not they, sure. They I, to be honest, I, don't, I don't know if it's the Skype or what, but I honestly can't tell if you called it a nougat chain or a dookie chain. And I don't know <laughs> if it was either of those. It's actually I, a Ted Nugent chain, which is odd <laughs> that it came from there, but it was Mr. Cat Scratch Fever himself, the Motor City Madman Ted Nugent, who popularized the 80s yeah. fat rope chain. That's true. And we'll okay, be experimenting now, with the, uh, the YouTube live streaming this time around, which we were going to do a test today, but we ran out of time. So uh, maybe well, our test will be Friday night. If there's one thing I've heard, it's that all the comments on YouTube are way friendlier than the comments on any other wide stream distribution. <laughs> I'm sure about that. Yes. Uh, no, and, and uh, Brian's, so being, Brian's being coy because he's, he's done a few things on, for Scam School on, on the live Ustream uh, stuff. But I think, it's been, I'll tell you what, the, the video quality is great, and I think you guys are going to have a great time uh, on it. Just to let everybody know, uh, like uh, Rhett uh, said before, it was uh, Friday, uh, starting this Friday, June 24th at 10 o'clock on IFC, Commercial Kings airs, uh, and, and again, it's fantastic. But part of what we wanted to do is because there was a bit of a synergy here. You know, uh, the show is obviously about you guys going to local businesses and helping them create your unique kinds of commercials. Uh, but you worked on this show with former guests of our show and friends of our, uh, of our show, uh, Joe Gambiaggio, who uh, did what they were on when, when the Scream Queens uh, show debuted, which they also worked on. We did a little, a little movie experiment. We tried to shoot a, a short film within the confines of this uh, hour-long live stream. Now, obviously, we can't do that, but we figured, hey, here's a great opportunity to get two commercial geniuses. Maybe you guys can help us brainstorm something that we can help shoot right here on live stream and have everybody here in the chat room live who's watching us at live.twit.tv edit together their own 10 second commercials we can flood the internet and then maybe you know next season on ifc it's 10 o'clock commercial kings 10 30 another episode of commercial kings but we'll watch it and hopefully we'll be more successful because of the commercials you helped us make yeah, there you go we're down we're ready so you're All saying right. we're right. going guess, to conceptualize a commercial for you guys yes, yes. and we're going to actually like shoot it as people are going to like screen grab it and then edit it during this hour? During yes, this that's... hour. Our, our, our uh, chat room, who is uh, our, our loyal fans, are fantastic at this. They are absolute ninjas. And uh, we, we will have several 10 second commercials by the end of this. Yeah, and in fact, here's the thing. Not only are they going to composite all of this together, they're going to upload it to a place where everyone can see it, and they're going to vote within themselves which are the ones that we need to check out live on the air. So that's why, that's why we got to shoot our principal photography right here up front. So let's, uh, let's, let's start <laughs> spitballing some ideas. Let's go. I love what it when people done? vote within themselves, first of all. It's just like, yes. hey, man, if you're going to do that, shut the door. <laughs> Well, you know, I like to think that they're voting within themselves, so they don't even talk to anybody else. It's like centering yourself for Zen. I get it. I get no, it. I don't get it, but I get it. We're going to vote within ourselves. Yes. Let's do it. Amongst ourselves. I'm voting right now. Is that what I, I'm uh, doing? I got a question for you. I got, well, I got a qu Can either of you sing? Uh, uh, very, very poorly, but we are unafraid to sing very, very badly. Because you know that can be good. When you're, when you're making a local commercial, you actually, you don't want extremely great seasoned performances. Mm -hmm. You want imper imperfect performances. So yeah. can you guys bring us that? 
Oh, uh, absolutely. Look, we're, we're like we're like the unwashed potato, man. We, we're bringing that earthy <laughs> goodness straight to your face. Uh, let me point out that I'm standing in front of an old flubber poster. If that <laughs> does anything to explain how amateur this operation is. Okay. All right. Yeah. So so first things first, we're gonna have to sing. NFSW, NSFW. Well, well, see, we have right to get first. the freaking letters right. NSFW, yep, sure. you got you to sing it. So I want to, let's hear a jingle from each of you and we'll choose which, which one we think is better. And then, you know, maybe they'll have two that they can edit between. All right, here we go. This is uh, NSFW, the song. <clears throat> here we go. NSFW, -A, new hot new internet every day. That's all I got. Okay, that's what you had. Let's hear what. Uh, <laughs> yeah, speaking of, uh, Ted, Justin, speaking of Ted Nugent. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh, all right, so this is Justin's turn. Yeah. How about NSFW? Ready to break your face open with the awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, right. I like both of them. So you've got. You got Brian with like the Hold darker on. version of the jingle, and then you got Justin with like the happy-go-lucky meets violent jingle. But, I, but you know, I got—I think I've got to go with Justin on this one because it had that weird sort of—it just sort of hung out in no, the middle of nowhere at the end of it. The way <laughs> yeah. you ended it, it didn't really resolve. No, that's perfect for a local commercial. Can exactly. you do that again? The question is—is is, is, can you repeat that exactly? <laughs> I think so. I think I can. I think I can hit All right. my mark. I want to hear it. DeVille. All right, are we, so I need to do it again? Yeah. All right, here we go. So get ready for the screen cap. This one, this one's for the win here, okay? NSFW, breaking your face open with the, the awesome. Oh, wait, whoa, time out, time out. You failed, you stuttered. You failed, you no, stuttered. No, which that's means, great. Which means no, that's... I, get, I gotta get a second, I gotta get a second back. Oh, ready? come <laughs> on. Oh, look at you. Look at you, right. why don't you go? Like you're like a kid who just gets tap shoes when his brother's <laughs> in, the, in the in the in the ballerina company. You just want to run out on stage. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I mean, look, you can go back again. I'm sure they got the original, but let me give it another try here. Ready? Right. Okay. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> oh, so you you did a different one. It had a, it had a, it had a riff in it. Yeah, it, it was <laughs> NSFW. It's like a, yeah. it sounded like a promo for like wrestling. Well, like you know, professional this, wrestling. I, I like this because we, we don't need to just narrow it down to one jingle. I mean, we need multiple commercials. And so I think we've got okay. three sure. candidates at this point. I got to say, I did, I'm a big fan of the stutter when you said V twice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, you I don't know, know how that really... happened, but it's like, that's what we look for when we're sh like shooting business owners and making them a local commercial is, it's just like, you know, if they start screwing up, it's just like, yeah, yeah, go with that. Yeah, run with Say that. Say V <laughs> four times in your jingle. Exactly. Like, the, 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 the. <laughs> that was great. Okay, you're like, you you're, have... you're like, you're like hand, handing them the lines, and then they start to read it, and you're like, no, no, I think you got it. Just go ahead. Just say what you right. think it's it. Just go ahead. Add them. Right. Now, are there any animals on the premises? Uh, we've got some stuffed animals. We've got a number of animals. In fact, yeah, um, uh, let, let me, if, if if I may, if, if Jam Rubio will cut aside for oh. just a moment here. <clears throat> yeah, Hold on. Uh, actually, I'll tell you, I, I do have the mascot of the show is actually an animal, Red and Ling. Uh, there was uh, an incident that we had during uh, our first probably two months on the show where we did a tiny chat bit where basically we had people ask their problems uh, and then a jury of their peers uh, via tiny chat would hold up like yes or no signs uh, to give them advice on, on their, their daily uh, troubles. And uh, at some point during that, we had a, a near duel hijack one of the tiny chat squares, wait for us to go live, and then they showed uh, what seemed to be. Oh, there we go. That's uh, that's of course Brian as horse boy shaking and moving. Uh, I like. It. Oh, that's perfect. So so that's good. All right, well here, uh, Brian, you get you get whatever uh, you get whatever you need there. I'm gonna go get the mascot. Uh, so, so we can maybe bring another okay. animal in on this. So Brian. you guys, horse boy it up. I'll be right back. Okay, okay Brian, now, hold what on. you need to do? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, hold what? on. Let me, uh, what, what should I be doing as, yeah, as horse boy? Yeah, here's what you should do. You should be completely off to the side of one frame, uh, off the side of the frame, and you should trot across. Just the horse's head, just trot across the screen. All right, this way. 
and then I want you to come back the other way. And then when you're coming back, I want you to stop. And his nods are really good for local you, commercials. You, you, want me, you want me to kind of dance my way across or groove across trot, or just kind of trot. like going off to work? Yeah, trot as much as possible. Okay. Uh, and, there, and then we're going to get a very slow head turn, very slow horse head turn that could be very useful. All right, here we go, gentlemen. Am I out? A little, little, little further. Get it. You have a snout. No. Wait, back? Back, yeah. We want the shadow to be gone. Yeah, yeah, there you go. There you go. Like limbo. There you go. Yeah. Can you stop ruining it, asshole? No, just right, yeah, now trot across. <laughs> That's great. Now come back. Now turn around and come back, and this time stop in the middle and nod. Turn slow. Oh, you went to... Oh, very good. Very good. Now, okay, now just come back out to the middle of the screen and be facing uh, to one side and slowly... No, just, no, 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 no. Totally fast. stationary. Now, stay right there. Turn to the side. Slowly and creepily turn your head towards the camera. Get more in the center, though. Take one more step forward first. Other way. There you go. Now... Yeah, this is the money shot. Slow. 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 Hold it. <laughs> Hold it. Yes. All right. Okay. That's good stuff right there. Now, now hold the hold the mask, and instead of pulling off, see if you can sink down into the floor and leave the mask where it is, so people never see your face. All right. That's complicated, Mike. We got you. Want to push your subject to create? <laughs> yeah. Wait, hold on. They've never done. Wait. No, no, no. Stay up. What am I doing? Oh. Yeah. I'm, what, I'm what sinking we need down, to do but the is, mask stays. We need you to be on the screen I'm like lost. this, and then we need you to go like this. Gotcha, gotcha. Done and done. Because that's the head blowing off, you know, like the, like the jingle. Yeah, okay. The oh, head was gotcha. blowing open. Yeah, yeah, with the awesome. So you, you could cut those two things together. <laughs> hold it up, hold it up, and now just, just, just throw it somewhere. <laughs> I think you might have hit your camera, but I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, you might need to check I equipment did. on I that apologize. one. That was great. Yeah, yeah, that excellent stuff. All right, I, mean, I gotta, cut, I gotta get, turn it over to Justin. I've, I've got to defuse. Yeah, okay. we do have one more mascot here. <laughs> this is Fapper, of course, the dolphin. Let's get, Who, let's uh, get it. Brent, why don't we get the dolphin to say some lines as if he's like the. The owner of let let let's make it like he's like the he's the proprietor of the whole show. Uh, he okay. is the mascot. Like like the the general manager or or yeah. owner of of sorts. The CEO of NSFW. Yes. So the power behind thought, the throne. You, can you do a dolphin voice? Sure, I can I can go. Uh... Hey guys, it's me, Pepper the Dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> now, first, I, I think you need to yeah. be, your face needs to be like half on the screen, half off, and the dolphin needs to be like front and center, but I want to see half of your face as okay. if you thought you were off screen, but you weren't. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, wait, maybe I should get on this side so it's on the side with the, yeah, the mirroring thing the is, arm. is crazy. Look, I want to see, I want to see half of your nose, though. Hey. One eye. There hey, you go. There you go. But but act as if you don't think we can see you. <laughs> yeah. the, the, the way you do that is you, you look at the dolphin like you're really concentrating on the action of the right, dolphin. Like you're looking. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Totally. <laughs> All right. Now let's, we're going to give you some lines. Well, like, you just go for it. I mean, you, you guys, you know. You know your show. We want you to. We want you to ad lib. No, and we want you to yeah. throw selling oh, okay. points. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I do. I do appreciate the, the direction though. So if you guys want to just, we'll just spitball here. You guys give me like the start of an idea, and then I'll, I'll finish it out. Well, first introduce yourself, Mr. Dolphin. What's what's his name? Uh. Hey everybody. My name is Fabric the Dolphin. I love NSFW, and I love you. Now this is this is not a kids show. No, this you, is a local commercial. Yeah, the, your yeah. the earlier voice was better. It was raspier and a little scarier. That, scarier. Right. Okay, it, you want to go scary? Okay. You and want to scare the it, kids off. And it's important that the dolphin states his credentials so that the audience believes that hey, this is a local commercial worth worth watching. This is not. Yeah. So we're not going into kids kids show realm. Sure. We're going into believable, and 
this dolphin is trustworthy. And we don't I mean, care how much the dolphin loves the show because the dolphin is, is the, the proprietor of the show. As right. if he was okay. a used car dealer, you know? See, I, okay. if, if I may, Justin, perhaps uh, uh, I, I don't know that it would be unreasonable for the dolphin to threaten someone who refuses to watch the show or, or, or state some kind of benefit to watching the show, maybe? Yes. Gotcha. But okay. First, say what, say what the dolphin's position is, like CEO of the show, and then just go into the call to action, which is, I'm going to bite your face off if, if you don't watch or whatever the case may be. Gotcha. And okay. Him, All right. I think, keep I think in I mind it. that the dolphin is, is a mammal. Let's not it is, forget yeah, that. Yeah, he is a mammal. He All needs right. to come up for air every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at his kids. Hole. Hey, my name is Pepper the Dolphin. I own this show. And if you don't watch it, I'm going to slide into your bedroom and slice your neck open. Yeah. Uh, okay, hey, Justin, if, if I can, it, and, and I don't mean to step on Rhett and Link or whatever, since we only have a 10 second spot we're going for, maybe sure. give us like Just three, a or four, three or four quick ones. Yeah. Okay, okay. Make sure the dolphin's high enough in the shot now, and it needs to come up for air. And he oh, says, okay. when he says hi, I think every, he also Every once like, in a while, he needs to go to the top of the screen, put his blowhole above the top of the frame. Oh, oh so air. we're underwater. Okay, there yeah, we yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. This is I got totally you. submerged. My name is Fabric the Dolphin. Watch or I'll touch your sister's boobs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here you we go. The we'll go. They, they, they breathe through the blowhole. They don't take... <laughs> Big golfing. <laughs> you had um, I don't know. I'm, I'm very confused on my dolphin anatomy. It's your freaking mascot. Justin, you don't know how to operate. Justin is entirely confused. <laughs> Justin is completely confused about the nature of the blowhole. I think that's what's messing him up. I am. I am. I am completely confused by Ann H's blowhole. It's, it's um, like it's the nose of a dolphin. All right, here we go. All right, all right, one more. My name is Pepper the Dolphin. Watch the show or I'll attribute racist comments to you on the internet. <laughs> so, does that work? Well, is that well, good would, enough? Is that scary? I would have to say when, yes. you're, when your dolphin was gasping for air, it sounds like when I'm Windexing a sliding glass door. <laughs> I mean, I'll tell you what, I don't know, when's the last time you mic'd the dolphin underwater gasping for air? Maybe that's exactly what it sounds like. Well, it sounds like the dolphin has emphysema. <laughs> well, he is a heavy smoker. You yeah, know, he you used to just dip, but good. he's moved it, back, you know, to, back adds, to a couple back to the image. <laughs> okay, All what right, else so, you need? And now, I, I know that we're running long on this first segment, and I feel like we're giving them plenty to work with, but I do feel like we just need one more element, and I don't know what it is, and I'm hoping our experts can point us in the right direction. Well, the horse heads exploding is was, I mean that's mm. going to be your money maker right there. Um, you if don't you, want to get too complicated. Yeah, if you want, I mean, if you want to add a tagline at the end. Okay, Brian, how, how about this? How about this? This may sound crazy, but a lot of the owners of uh, <laughs> establishments like to put their children into uh, local ads. So maybe what you could do, if you don't have any children on hand, you can steal you? one. You could go. How about oh, you no, lie? Look, I, I got my assistant. I have John my assistant. He's, he's 22 years old and fresh out of college. So I can get my assistant over here. Come here, John. Yeah, there we go. What do we want to him to do? You got to uh, say that he's eight, though. Uh, yes. Okay. There you go. Yeah, get down, say, get down lower. Get down lower. That's good. He's got to say, my pappy says, and then the pappy <laughs> has to say something. All right. Uh, I'll tell you what. Let's keep your lips right where they are so, so that we can dub in whatever we want after you say, my pappy says. Here we go. All right, go for it. My papa says. What what does he say? You gotta you gotta. I have to say. Oh, I gotta say something. Dub something <laughs> yeah, no. Well, we will. Whatever you say, we're gonna throw out and dub something different. But you gotta say something. Here we go. Wait, 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 wait. You gotta wait. All right, now go. Get, get a little My bit more. Papi. Yeah, a little bit. There you go. <laughs> a little bit more what? Lower down. Get your. Yeah. Get so your we can't see your frame. face. I have I have an idea though. How about uh, the little kid says something that Brian doesn't like, and then Brian just slaps him right in the face, and that'll be the I end like of the commercial. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's good. That's good. Yeah, child right, abuse is really good in commercials. All right, yeah. down, down a little bit more. Right. All right, there you go. Right there. Right there. All right, here we go. Ready? Hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna hand off to you. Here we go. What do you say, little John? My papa says. 
I thought you were going to hit me in the face. No, you have to say something. You have to say guys. something, like, and then Brian gets mad and off. slaps. No, you got to. All right, go. All right. All right, here we go. Ready? What do you say, little John? My papa says that I'll meet my mother in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> This is going to be a great commercial. <laughs> you I mean, know what? Was, was there ever any doubt? It. I think we don't even change anything. Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's perfect. Yeah. I feel like we need one more take of you just actually slapping him in the face, though. Okay, all right, all right. Get back over here. Get back over here. All right, John, how hard you want me? You want me to, you want me to go full? Yeah, just go Harder's for it, Harder's funnier. Man. Harder's funnier. I'm just letting you know right now. Okay, okay. here we go. You're going to have to face towards me, though, right? All right, here we go. A little farther to the right. There you go. All right. And facing more towards me. A little up. All right. A little up. A little up. All right. Right there. Here we go. What do you say, little John? My papa says I'll be my mother. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's great. I pretty much full on slap him in the face. <laughs> wow. Yeah, because what he said was ridiculous. He sounded uh, yeah. You're not going to meet your mother in heaven. Gonna Slap. Believe that. I Boy, think uh, yeah, here's the only thing, though, and I really I feel bad, terrible about this, but I think I laughed over that take. Can you do that one more time, John? <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm sorry. <laughs> Luckily, I heard it from this end, and it was just fine. Thank you very much. I want to get something from Justin's side, and then we can finally have our goldsmiths go to work well, and make this thing into viral internet yeah, I mean, money. I guess, here's, here's what I think. The only thing we need, I think we got enough raw material, right? I think we got, we got our iron, we got our oh, bronze, shit. our smelters are ready to go. But we think we need just a basic concept for a shape. So if you can just, if you guys can just impart your wisdom of how does a commercial normally, normally flow, especially if it's trying to be funny, like is, does it have to start a little normal and then get weird? Does it start weird and then starts, you know, kind of melt out and then get weird. weirder? Here's a here's a formula. It starts weird, and then it gets weird, then it stays weird, and then it ends weird. Okay, so <laughs> let's just just two I, tickets I think that's to all weird you got. And I think there's going to be absolutely no problem with accomplishing that goal with the material that has been generated. Now we do like to make a cameo on all commercials that we have a part in. So maybe if you could like just give us give us a uh, give us some screen time here, and we'll just give you a little something to go with. We use okay. it. It's kind of. It's kind of just. You know, we just ask that your audience kind of slip us in there, and maybe for us, it's just. It's just like a stinger, like a little transition, like. Uh, like when the head explodes or something, then like some hands could kind of just go towards the screen. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just spitballing. I think that's a horrible idea. Like this. <laughs> like, uh, don't watch that. Well, no. How about this, Link? How about this? How about a just a not safe for work kind of thing? Oh. How about a, how about some sort of, some sort of, like a handshake? conciliatory handshake, yeah. And I like, I like the theme of lots of faces being cut off in your commercial for some crazy reason, so let's cut our own faces off. And yeah. And we'll just, and look at that, look at that fiery ball back there coming over it's here. It's just a quick That's... handshake. Come in can and, can and you offer. maybe work that in as if you're actually holding it? Like like that's where the logo can come out of? Like you open your fist and there's a shining ball of light. Yeah. Oh, yeah, like, like a magic trick. Yeah. We'll do that first. Then I've got an idea. Like that? Well, no, I liked it when it looked like you were holding it, like physically pinching it. There you go. Like that. Like you guys are holding the awesome. And then it turns into the NSFW logo. So let's, let's pinch our fingers together. I don't like touching your hand like that. I'm not going to support this. Three, two, one. Oh, you go like that? That's and good. That now, I'll tell you one thing, one other thing limp that'll handshake. make it. A limp handshake. You need a limp handshake in a commercial. <laughs> pretty good. Okay. That's a pretty good uh, one. Now, now, actually, guys, if, before if you go back to your, your positions there behind the desk, there is one thing that uh, everybody in the chat realm is 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 requesting. Kind of the secret uh, hand sign of of the fans of the show is is the diamond symbol. So it's the, the two fingertips in like you know reverse peace sign touching. Uh, people are requesting that maybe yeah from either side like Wait, you guys maybe with the sun in the middle. No. The sun, oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Move it like that. <laughs> this could be misinterpreted. No. This is great. This is good. Yeah, see, both hands come in. Yeah, so just, uh, yeah. So come back nice. 
Ouch. Wow, look at that. Nice. <laughs> they completely, the, the chat room has completely exploded <laughs> at this point. It's as though they just watched the original 2001. Yeah. <laughs> this is basically 10 times better than uh, that, that painting where God touches the guy. <laughs> okay. Okay. In fact, I guarantee you, this animated GIF will be at least five people's Twitter avatar in no time. <laughs> it's like synchronized swimmers. This is amazing. <laughs> Boy, that's weird. All right. I think, I think we got everything we need at this point. Everybody could throw together their own version of the NSFW 10-second commercial. And finally, yeah, do, we do, get to, well, before, before we talk to you guys, we do have to take a moment to thank the people who make NSFW possible. Right, Justin? Thank you. Yes, absolutely. And, and actually, uh, let me just, uh, by the end of this ad read, uh, if somebody can throw the link that we can tell people to go get these clips at, uh, just, just uh, PM that to me in the chat room. But Brian, I'll tell you what. I, I know that there is going to be popping up all over this great country, nay the world, Brian, uh, fan pages to Red and Link's commercial, Kings. But you know, the problem is my site's going to be so goddamn popular that it's going to get run over by traffic like so many uh, elephants over a drunk tribesman. Uh, oh, absolutely. And, you know, I need a site that'll stand up to that kind of traffic. Well, have I got news for you, Justin. There's absolutely no service that could possibly stand up to the forces of Reddit and Dig and all those things. Pretty much, you just got to get used now to the idea that whatever you create, the site will have to go down. Yeah. So, no, there's nothing. There's no, no there's uh, magic nothing. pill. No, there's no panacea nothing. for me. There's, there's no service. There's no service that I'm aware of, unless you've just got a telegram from the future about some amazing service that could stand up to Link, uh, to, to link and Reddit. Wait, yes. Link and, and Reddit? links from Reddit. From <laughs> Reddit. Links, links from Reddit. fan sites from links from Reddit. Absolutely. Well, Brian, congratulations. Oh. This is a sting. I'm undercover as a square what? space what are you officer. Talking about? And you just got busted for not knowing. You got straight cold busted for not knowing about the great service of Squarespace. Brian, here's the deal. And I'm going to read you the goddamn Riot Act. You do have the right to have a Squarespace site free for two weeks without a credit card. You do have the right to have a site that won't go down no matter how, many, how much traffic you get. You do have the right to custom design your site with CSS. You do have a right to be a moron and not, how, not, not know how to design a site. And then all of a sudden be like, boom, there's some magic templates here that make my stuff look gorgeous. That's what Squarespace does, and now you're going to jail. <laughs> Squarespace.com. Use offer code <laughs> 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 Wow. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> what are we doing here, Fry? Ball's just away. sitting there. Brian has gone away. Oh, did he die? Oh, that wasn't him just uh, as a bit? That was him no. freezing? <laughs> no. <laughs> it was very convincing. It was. It was a great bit for a hot minute there, right? He yeah. was so still. Yeah. It was <laughs> awesome. We, we were doing it, too. but nobody He was saw so us. still, it was because he was actually frozen. It was because he actually was failing. Well, you want to know what? Let's just keep the party going. Of course, Squarespace.com. Uh, here's the deal, folks. If you have used Squarespace.com with us in the past, they're now tracking it with offer codes. So when you go there, it's not it's no longer a unique URL. Just go to squarespace.com and then use offer code NSFW6. Here's the deal. Free two weeks. Absolutely no credit card. And the best thing, like we say always, don't worry if you're not in the market to get a site and sign up for a package right now. Squarespace loves it when you guys go and make silly sites that only stay up for the two weeks because they let they get to know that you are understanding the product and making sure that you know that when you do want a site, it's going to be a Squarespace site. Go use it right now. Squarespace.com, code NSFW6. Now, while Brian is rebuilding the internet, uh, you know, to, to get back to us right now, let, let me talk to you guys. Uh, how did Commercial Kings come together? Because you guys did the I Love Local Commercials YouTube series, which people for some reason have not watched. Uh, they, they absolutely need to. But at what point was TV an option for you guys? Well, when we, you know, originally started making the local commercials uh, on our YouTube channel, we knew that everything we were finding in that process, you know, when we went to the Red House, you know, one of our most popular yes. commercials, 
Red House furniture where black people and white people buy furniture. They do. Okay, yes. now wait a minute. Uh, I, I swear, like I saw that, and I and once I saw that it was you guys, I fully assumed that the, the entire commercial was fictitious. Did that actually run on the air? And I guess, first of all, I'm surprised to hear that it's even a real place. So that was a real place. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I would. First of all, you're back. That freezing uh, yes, is awesome. Yes, I am. <laughs> which might lead you to wonder if I ever really left. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm seriously thinking about questioning that. You should do that more often. <laughs> You were hilarious, Brian. That one time that you stood there really, really still in the middle of the ad read and, like, didn't say anything after I asked you a question, that was hilarious. That could be your thing. That's, uh, it's a bit I'm working on. I thought it would go well with the commercial that we're making right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. But Red House Furniture, where black people and white, for white people buy furniture, we, it was a totally legitimate, real business in High Point, North Carolina. It's like, you know, an hour and a half from where we live. So we drove there. We didn't know what we wanted to do, but we started talking to uh, the guys who sell couches and mattresses, Big Head and Ten Gauge, who were featured in the commercial. And we're like, tell us about the business. Tell us about who shops here, who works here. And, and for some reason, one of the first things they told us was, well, you know, we got black people that work here and white people that work here. Look at us. He's black and I'm white. And we got all types of colors of people that come in here and buy couches and stuff. Ding, we're ding, 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 we're ding, like ding, the rainbow ding, coalition of furniture. So Rhett and I kind of look at each other and we didn't see anything. And then we're driving back home that night, and we're like, let's just make the commercial about that. Let's use racial reconciliation to sell furniture. Because, yeah. you know, it's such an obvious idea. Yeah. Why hasn't it been done before? <laughs> yeah, but it's the only real business, you know? And I say it was their idea. We just channeled it in the right places. We, we told them that's what we wanted to do, and they were like, what? But then they trusted us. We, we, started, we wrote cue cards for customers, and one of the cue cards said, I'm black and I love the Red House. And we started rolling on the camera and we got a customer who said, okay, we're gonna hold up this line for you. We didn't tell, him, tell the guy ahead of time because if we only got him to read it once, we wanted to be able to use it. So we, ho and you can see this in the behind the scenes episode on our YouTube channel, I think, but you know, I write it out, I'm black and I love the Red House and I hold up the cue card and the guy goes, I'm back and I love the Red House. <laughs> And, and Link says, no, you're black, and you love the Red House. And he's like, and there was a moment of awkwardness. Then he was like, oh, I'm black, and I love the Red House. And at that moment, we knew we had something. And then when we put it online, the Internet knew we had something. And a similar story, also in High Point, North Carolina, we go to TDM, TDM Auto, Auto Sales, Sales, and we meet Rudy, the, uh, the head salesman at TDM Auto Sales. He's Cuban. And yes. we find out that he's like, well, actually, the owner of the place says, you know, Rudy was a gynecologist in Cuba before he was a auto salesman in America. We're like, we can work with that. And then we find that Rudy <laughs> has a stethoscope in his, in his front drawer. And so we combine the idea of a Cuban gynecologist and an American auto salesman into a, another commercial that did really well. And so getting back to the TV show, Rent and Link Commercial Kings, meeting Rudy and finding out that he's a Cuban gynecologist and then making that commercial. What the show really captures is that whole behind the scenes process. So that, those kinds of moments where, you know, in one of the episodes that we've already shot up in Sacramento, we learn from Bill and Sandy who own a hot yoga studio. We have, you, have you guys heard of this? This is like where you do yoga yes. in a room, but it's like 128 degrees in there. It's yeah, crazy. It's, a real, it's a real sweaty mess. Uh, everybody's right. just schwitzing all over each other and they're yoga and the crap out of life. And so, I mean, these people, Bill and Sandy are like almost 70, and they're totally peaceful, zen-like people. And then we find out that Bill did time in Vietnam. He's like a decorated war hero. Well, and don't he say did time. That's like prison. It's like he served. He's he served. a decorated war hero. He did time yes. in a prison in Vietnam? Is no, that... no, no. He was not a POW. No, no, he, like, served in, in, I, he served in Vietnam. That's a different. It's... And he, uh, and he actually he cut his thumb off in a, with a circular saw. Not in Vietnam, but like in the 90s in a construction area. <laughs> so we're like, we're like, let's put all of that we, we, got a, we got a Vietnam war hero who teaches hot yoga who's missing a thumb. <laughs> put that in the local commercial bag and see what happens. And that's, that's really what the show is about, is finding stuff like that out and then building a commercial around it. Now, th this is something, and, and the, the two episodes that uh, IFC sent me to watch was, I guess, the, the episode that will premiere this Friday, June 24th uh, at 10 o'clock, which is 
the cats and dogs episode where you do the super schmuddle uh, dog park service and the cat retreat or, or whatever, uh, whatever it's called, which is very, very, very funny. But the one that I, I really cottoned to because it kind of reminded me most of, of, of the Red House one was the, uh, for, for Despot, where you have <laughs> to uh, create a local commercial that uh, for a predominantly black uh, hair salon to uh, attract non-black women. Uh, yes. well, yeah, that's that, the thing. We show up, we show up in San Bernardino, and uh, we meet Troy, and you know he says, "Can I be real with y'all?" And we're like, "Yeah, uh, yeah, as long as the cameras are rolling." And so they were. <laughs> and so he says, "You know, I got a lot of black customers to come in here, but I want to reach some white women." And we just kind of look at each other. And it's like, "Well, we've been down this road before with furniture, but this this hits a little closer to home because, you know." People think that white people go to white salons and African American people go to African American salons. So I mean, he like legitimately threw the gauntlet down here because ultimately we don't just make these commercials just for fun on YouTube. We make them to actually help the businesses. You know, I mean, it's a crazy commercial. All, all our commercials you might describe as crazy, but we always want to help the business. So if Troy wants to reach white women, or and ultimately he ended up saying, I want to reach non-black women. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, it started, like started as down. white and then eventually broadened out to uh, to to pretty much uh, every other kind of woman that they were not attracting. All women, all women, all women. And actually, uh, a line from the commercial is, "Can I be real with y'all? <laughs> I don't, I don't want to just service black women. I want to service all women." And I, and he uses the term service. I mean, that's that's. You know, that's how you and so that, I, I guess that's that's what I'm I'm curious with you guys is, is it seems and very much it's on display in the show uh, that you guys have this spider sense for those moments and those elements of when you're talking to somebody that, OK, we got to blow this up. Well, whether it be, you know, the create a physical example in the commercial that, that really puts this on display or even lines like that where, you know, you'll there'll be a line in conversation that you want to have them repeat. Uh, you know, somewhere else oh, yeah. to, 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 to drive a point home. But with that episode specifically, and this is what I, what I wanted, what I was very, very curious about is, do you ever, and, you, and I don't want to spoil anything, but you guys kind of run into this problem in the episode, but uh, where, have you ever had situations where people were like, okay, now I'm uncomfortable with this, that, that you kind of are walking the line, obviously deliberately uh, between, you know, you're trying to make racial humor, humor that uses race as something that we can all laugh at, uh, but some people, obviously, it's a, it's, a, it's a fine line, and they think, well, this falls on the other side into the uh, horrific racist category. I mean, have you guys ever run into that, and, and how do you handle it? Well, I would say, first of all, you know, guys, make sure you watch the, the Spot episode because I, I think it's one of the first times that it happens. And, you know, it happens in the show. And it, we were writing a script, and we used some terminology referring to white people that... Uh, you know, we thought was kind of toe in the line, but it was everyone there in the spot who who thought, you guys have, whoa, 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 stop, stop the presses, stop, stop the shears or whatever they needed to yeah. stop the the hair dryers. We need to stop stop the braiding. We need to uh, rewrite this commercial. And I mean, because there's like 18 people sitting in there to shop, giving their opinions on every line that we have Troy say as we're shooting yeah. this commercial. So I will say that we got pulled back there. But I mean, tell them what we did with the taxidermist because I thought we were gonna, I thought we were going over the edge with that one. But it. Yeah. Now, in this case, happen. was it the fact that everybody else was chiming in saying they had a problem with it that caused this person to suddenly become uncomfortable, or like, do you have to curate who's there in the room so that everybody feels comfortable with it? Well, yeah. it's interesting. In in that particular episode, <laughs> there's this guy that we met, a friend of Troy's named Dr. Freddy. And yes. Dr. Fred ends up being this guy that appears out of nowhere over and over again in the episode. And that was all legitimate. He would just totally just show up in, the, in our moment of greatest need. It's like, yeah, I, I, I like to consider him the, the Lando Calrissian of that episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's, yeah, just, yeah. he's just kind of there bringing a, a solemn touch to everything. Yeah, well, it's like when we're, we're trying to find, you know, ladies for the commercial and we kind of we're like, we need to find some white ladies. And then he's like, well, I'm going to call my friend Dr. Freddie. So we show up at this restaurant, and Dr. Freddy, he hasn't just brought white women. We've got a Mexican lady, a Puerto Rican lady. We've, we've got an Indian lady. We've, we've got women from all over the 
every continent other than Antarctica, and I think that would just be like a research scientist, is represented <laughs> at this table. And we're like, Dr. Freddie came through, and then later on, during that same moment, there's that awkward moment where, and we, we'll go ahead and tell you what we say, we, the line in the commercial was, as Troy is describing the lady's hair, he says, look at this beautiful white lady. I did her hair. I call it the snowflake. Because it's one of a kind. And, the, you know, that, that got a response from everybody in the room. And you know what? They were right. So I don't, we don't want to control the room. We don't want to control how people react. We want to, you know, it's just like... But Dr. Freddie. But Dr. Yeah. Freddie came to the rescue because yeah. he came in and said, you know what? Maybe we need to back off a little bit with the snowflake. People might take that the wrong way. We said, well, we're white. I mean, you can call me snowflake all day, and I'm, and I'm not going to get offended. We, were, we weren't trying to offend. Let's just pull it back a little bit. So the final, the reconciliation was... Look at this beautiful white woman. I did her hair, and she's ready for her next Caucasian occasion. <laughs> there we go. And just as funny, uh, and, and yet not, not potentially offensive. I'll tell you, it is, it is a fantastic episode, and, and you guys should really be proud of the series. I'll tell you what, IFC in general has been doing a fantastic job with their, their programming. If you haven't seen Portlandia, and uh, they did the, the uh, David Cross uh, series that also aired in Britain. But it, it, it's fantastic to see you guys on there. Uh, is there any other tease that you can give for the show uh, itself uh, as, as it comes up on the premiere? I'll give two ones. You know, we made a commercial for a taxidermist in Ojai, California. And you talk about pushing the envelope. I mean, we, just, we decided to give him the slogan, Chuck Testa, Ojai Valley Taxidermy, the most lifelike dead animals around. And... <laughs> Because that was his selling point. They looked so yeah. alive, yeah. except they didn't move. It was kind of like you when you froze earlier. Yes. Um, you look very lifelike, Fry. It was uh, like you well, were just... taxidermized. So anyway, uh, we yes. decided he had a six-foot-tall black bear, like, standing on its hind legs. And we decided this bear has to get in your bed with your wife in your commercial. <laughs> it has to happen. Um, you know, you'll have to watch the show to see what happens. But, I mean, I, I would say we encounter a little resistance with that one. But we pulled together a fabulous commercial. I'm really proud of it. And, and a little bit later in the season, we've got uh, a commercial that we, sh we actually went to. is also in Sacramento. Fountain of Health Colonics. I don't know if you know what a colonic is, but, I mean. Yes, the uh, that's the where they put the coffee yeah. up the butt, right? Well, this was just water. No <laughs> coffee. Well, apparently, are, apparently they, they're, they're, they're going. a little fancier out in Austin. They, they, get, they, they do the coffee. Um, but yeah, so this was just water. But yeah, it's, it's, they call it colon hydrotherapy. Now, we're not the typical commercial directors. So when we get this gig to make a commercial for a colonics place, we don't just come in with this idea and try to implement this idea. We come in and say, listen, the least we can do is experience this for ourselves. So you can see in the middle of the show, we both get colonics. Because I know what you're thinking, no. people out there in front of your laptops. You're thinking... Boy, I'd love to see those two guys get colonics on television. <laughs> and we were, listen, we guys... were like, we were like almost next to each other, but we didn't hold hands during the, during the, uh, the procedure. We did not it, touch. Right, here's the only per Here's the only thing that matters. Was there eye contact at the moment of insertion between you two? I think I was closing my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't even but, share that moment. All right. Well, I, yeah, I was just I, like, right, close your eyes. Here it comes. Can I ask but, if you guys were voting inside yourselves? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah. Could, you could call it that. You voted. Sure. Yeah. But the, ex the one really exciting thing about that episode is when you got something like colonics, which don't exactly sell themselves, this is something that you kind of have to be, like, held at gunpoint in order to, uh, to experience. You call in the big guns, and we actually have a celebrity endorsement for this commercial. Grammy Award-winning 80s love song maestro. <laughs> and you have to watch the episode to figure out who it was. There he came we go. In. Rock That's Hussein so Obama. Actually show, wrote the jingle with us and performed it in the commercial. That's, That's, we're, that's in the second half of the season. We're really excited we about can't, it. We can't tell them. We got to keep it under wraps. Oh, yeah. I wasn't about to tell them. I wasn't about to tell them. No, don't. For God's sake, I, don't. Everybody, please. Friday, uh, June 24th, it begins, but it will be every Friday. How many episodes are you guys going? We got 10 episodes. 
10 episodes on the IFC channel. Please, folks, look it up. Set your DVRs now to make sure that you don't miss an episode of Commercial Kings. 10 o'clock on Fridays. And then, of course, run on over to your laptops and fire up uh, your YouTube channel, right? Do you have the, the URL for your YouTube channel? Yeah, if you go to uh, YouTube.com slash Rhett and Link, R-H-E-T-T-A-N-D-L-I-N-K, you can see we've already released three of the commercials. All the commercials from the show we're going to release, so you can share those. You know, our presidential car wash commercial where we got uh, the Indian couple that owned the car wash to dress up like U.S. presidents and rap. That's already on yes. our YouTube channel right now. So that's called, we call it best rap ever because we, it, it is the we, best rap we love them. They did a great job. And right now, if you go to our channel over there, the featured video in the, in the featured player, it says Fridays. And that actually, you know, shows a little promo for the show. And in the description under that video, you can follow the link to Hulu because the first episode of Red Link Commercial Kings is live on Hulu right now, and I think it'll be live through Thursday night, and then it's gone forever. So if you want to check out Sneak Peek, uh, all right, well, let's do this. We're we're, we're running. It's the whole episode. It's the whole, yeah, it's the whole first episode. We're running. Uh, we're running long on time here, so uh, we do. We, uh, we we need to thank our other sponsor, but first, let me just say that if you're working on your video, however much you have done now, wrap it up and start posting it. Put it in the chat room. We want to start seeing those links here by the end of this next sponsor read. And don't forget, coming up after the break, we're going to take a look at the videos and most importantly, our musical guest for the summer music series, Old Joe Smokey, John Smokey. Sorry, I'm sorry, John. Uh, come on, old John Smokey come on. and his world famous spoons coming right up. But Justin, we need to thank a sponsor. Who are we talking about? Oh, we're talking about the source of joy in everyone's life. Okay? Brian, they got all kinds of movies on Netflix black movies. Do they? White movies, chicken movies, horse movies. Uh, Every kind of movies. Listen, it's netflix.com slash twit. That's all you got to go there. They got a new special for instant live streaming. Stream one movie, you get another movie streamed for only a penny. If you can find movie streams <laughs> cheaper, stream them. <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you are you ripping on? It sounds This sounds suspiciously like <laughs> Cheech Marin in From Dusk Till Dawn. It sounds like you're talking about, your, uh, uh, well, he's, of course, talking about whores, but you're talking about movies. Oh, Is that what listen, uh, it's funny you mentioned that, because, of course, Dusk Till Dawn, along with several Miramax titles, including uh, all the early work of Kevin Smith and Quentin Tarantino, like Jackie Brown in Pulp Fiction, and the penned script for Dust Till Dawn, and he also stars in it, but it's directed by Robert Rodriguez. Uh, it's on Netflix right now. And I, I can only imagine that you have picked out that in fact, I, I, have, I have watched it. And in fact, I would go so far as to try to work in maybe a sultry Selma Hayek dance, which ends with me sticking my toe in your mouth and pouring tequila down my leg. If I could right now to, to get the, the, the message home that netflix.com slash twit is the place that you want to be to get your 30 day free trial. All right, now listen, 30 days, that's, that's way too long. Uh, why, why would they give away 30 days? That's enough time for you to watch like 127 movies straight and not pay them a freaking penny. Why on earth would they do something so incredibly stupid? Uh, they haven't looked at this deal in a while. Uh, you know, Netflix, they uh, are their notorious drunks. They, they are asleep <laughs> at the wheel and they are literally burning the ho their own house down. Uh, and they're giving money away. And all you can do, like thieving robber barons, is run into their burning house, steal their precious family heirlooms before the roof collapses and everyone inside dies. So please do that by going to netflix.com slash twit and taking advantage of your 30 day free trial. And then here, listen to this folks, when you wanna sign up, it's $8 a month, you know? You spend $8 a month on some really disgusting stuff, I bet, that you don't wanna tell your friends or family about. Why don't you be What you're saying your is life? this is an opportunity by spending eight bucks on Netflix, you spare yourself a lifetime of shame. And in fact, I believe that's their new slogan. Netflix, eight bucks a month. <laughs> spare yourself a lifetime of shame. Exactly. Why, yeah, why go through life, hang your head like the no good near do well pervert you are when you could be a Netflix subscriber and you can walk down the street with a bright smile and a hop in your step. <laughs> so what we're saying, Netflix, it makes you morally righteous. <laughs> yes. Netflix, if you don't have it, you should be arrested. And you know why.
<laughs> Netflix, shame on you. <laughs> Netflix, you stop that. You stop that right now. And subscribe to Netflix. <laughs> Netflix.com slash twit. I swear, go there right now or I will call your mother and you know I will do it. Netflix.com slash twit. You don't think I know what you do in there? <laughs> Netflix.com slash twit. Justin, hurry up. You're about to be late for school. What are you doing in there? <laughs> uh, well, well, there we go, folks. Uh, so there, free 30-day trial, Netflix.com slash twit. Um, now, here's, here's the deal. I think we have some commercials to watch. Uh, I do. I know for sure we have at least one, but I don't know what it is, and I'm looking at it right now, and for the life of me, this does not make any sense. I'm going to hope that <laughs> I'm going to hope that this plays. Let's take a look at our first entry from One Bill Meeks, Mr. Jammer B. Do we have that? Excited about this. Tony, cut all this awkward stuff, or at least just leave it on Broadway. <laughs> supposed to be getting these videos oh, oh in, in the, the, in the, in the chat room how how do you want me to get them to you i, I have chat oh my god did we die uh bill meeks is posting it again in the in the chat okay thank you bill meeks give, give bill meeks a shout out he's, a, he's our boy bill meeks is a good guy he's another boy he, he, he made oh, a, right. a trailer for us as well so he's a very active person oh when you own the show? Yeah, yeah. Did you hear that? They're talking about you, Bill Meeks. That's Joe Cabiaggio in the background. Quietly Bill whispering Meeks. in the ears of Rhett Oh, Meeks. yeah, Bill. Way to go, Bill Meeks. Your, your <laughs> reputation precedes you. I'm sure this is going to be fabulous. I can't wait to see it. <laughs> this is all the uh, magic of editing. What is this? <laughs> I'm excited. Frozen the whole time. Taxidermized. I don't well, there we go. See any Showing of the, our original the material in part there. of this show by just Brian's ridiculously frozen face. Is that what it looked like when I was locked up? That was your frozen face. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um. Well, I'm glad that we went through all those takes and all that fantastic uh, direction from Rhett and Link. Yeah. Our resident uh, of genius commercial directors, uh, so we can get <laughs> Brian's frozen face for nine seconds. Uh, but I'll tell you what, we will we will have all the commercials that we can fit in to the end um, uh, uploaded on the podcast version of the NSFW show. So if you yeah, are either fact, listening here's, here's to the podcast version. Do. In fact, good news for everybody not watching this live. Uh, what, what's happening, by the way, I'm getting it from the chat room right now. T2T2, who's capturing all the footage and posting it, is having bandwidth issues. So apparently the clips that were captured still haven't even showed up yet. So what we're going to do is we'll wrap up things live, and then we'll go ahead and post all the videos that come in afterwards. And you'll see them after the credits, which means that uh, I don't know if we have time for a musical guest, Justin. Or, or uh, first, we should wrap uh... things up with Brett Link. Well, let's let let's wrap things up with with Red Link, uh, guys. Thank you so 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 much for coming on one more time. It is Commercial Kings Friday, June twenty fourth on IFC. Ten weeks of of amazing goodness, and uh, go watch the first episode on Hulu now. But uh, again, I do mean this very very seriously. That uh, uh, I, I very much enjoy the show, and it is awesome to see guys who came up uh, on the internet make good and have an opportunity on television. You have the full support of everybody uh, watching now and, and me and Brian specifically. So uh, good luck on the show. We appreciate it, fellas. Thanks for having us. Yeah, had a good time. You got it. And, and hey, I tell you what, real quick, people want to follow you on Twitter. In fact, we'll probably send you links over Twitter and maybe you could tweet out which are your favorite of the commercials over the next 24 hours. What's, your, what's the best way for people to tweet at you? Uh, mine is... Rhett MC, R H E T T M C. And mine is Link Lamont, L I N K L A M O N T. And we'll be live awesome. tweeting actually during the show, during the actual broadcast of the show, East Coast time. So tweeting about Good. Well, expect, expect to get a number of uh, awesome videos 
hopefully including the footage that we just shot here coming up here shortly. Uh, but uh, but if that's it for Rhett and Link, Justin, I, I don't know. We're out of time, aren't we? We've gone like an hour and ten minutes already. This is the first time that we've had to do this, but uh, for everybody who's been following the summer music series, we've, we've had a guest, uh, you know, on performing live via webcam. And I'm, I'm very, very sad that, uh, unfortunately, we, are at, we have a hard out here with Twit, so we cannot even take the, the minute or, or two minutes that we would have for our, uh, our guest. But let me just get his information out there. Uh, old John Smokey and his world-famous spoons, of course, please support his Kickstarter at kck.st slash blues. He's trying to get uh, his, his album, Train Time Blues, uh, funded. And, of course, he was going to perform his, uh, his hit song, Papa Didn't Raise No Weasel. Uh, but I think we have him live now. Um, well, yeah, John, uh, listen. <laughs> I'm very, very sorry, <laughs> John. Yeah. Uh, God damn it. Looks like we pissed off old John Smokey. Um, all right. Well, uh, that about wraps it up for NSFW show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh, John Smokey. Oh, man. All right. Well, uh, <laughs> for Red and Link and Brian Brushwood, that about wraps it up for this edition of The Worst Show on the Internet. <laughs> <laughs> Dying of fire, kids. <laughs> See you next Tuesday, except on Sunday. <laughs> Give him a bit more oh, God. <laughs> yeah, there he is. <laughs> Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, he won't stop. Uh, the he I'm talking about is Andrew Maine. He just keeps writing amazing books. Uh, the Chronological Man is the new one. Everybody go Amazon.com, search for The Chronological Man. Again, like all his other books, it's a dollar. What's a dollar to you? Buy it on, buy it on the Kindle. You can have it on your, on your desktop, on your Kindle, iPad with the Kindle app, and then all of your smartphones with the, with the Kindle app as well. It's fantastic. And... If you're like, I don't even know if I like the story, download the new episode of the Weird Things podcast featuring me, Brian, and Andrew. And at the end of that, I read the first two chapters on the free tip. So uh, check that out. Please go over uh, to The Chronological Man on Amazon. Buy it if you want. For some people who have already read it uh, and, and really, really like it, if you read it and like it, please leave a comment. Uh, thank you very much. Chronological Man, Andrew Man, everybody go check it out. Hey, my name is Rapper the Dolphin. I own this show, and if you don't watch it, I'm going to slide into your bedroom and slice your neck open. NSFW. Hey, you. Have you seen the NSFW show? They have singing. NSFW! Breaking your face open with the, the awesome! And dancing. It has implied dolphin puppet violence. My name is Fabry the Dolphin! Watch or I'll touch your sister's boobs! Now with 112% more child abuse. What do you say, little John? Come on, puppet says I'll be my mother. And best of all, it's in 3D. That's the NSFW show. Slice your neck open! I'll touch your sister's boobs! I'll attribute racist comments to you! What do you say, little John? Ma Pepper says I'll be my mother. NSFW. NSFW! Breaking your face open with the, the awesome! Can you stop ruining it, asshole? The, the awesome! My papa says that I'll meet my mother in heaven. NSFW! Ready to break your face open with the awesome! And...
NSF W NSF W NSF W NSF W I think that's a horrible idea. Oh. NSF W breaking your face open with the the awesome. Look at my horse, my horse is amazing. Give it a lick. Yeah, can you stop ruining it, asshole? Opens are jerks. This is NSFW. NSFW, ready to break your face open with the awesome. What do you say, little John? My papa says that I'll meet my mother in heaven. We should point out that uh, if you guys enjoyed the show, we're trying to sell one brick for every episode of NSFW. And as we've said before, if you have the 120 something dollars to buy a brick, we strongly recommend you buy a brick. That way you can say whatever you want on it. You gotta go to bricks.twit.tv to buy a brick. And of course, if you're a crazy billionaire, then get yourself a whole bunch. Of, in fact, just buy out the wall and just, and just put like custom graphics that say, eat it suckers, I'm rich. And then everyone will have to see that when they come in and they'll be shamed into knowing that you're better than they are. But if you don't have a lot of money, then what I say you should do is you should chip in to brian at schwood.com on PayPal. We're collecting all the money. I think like next week when I get back, we're going to decide how to spend it. But we are going to make uh, we're buying at least one brick for every episode of NSFW this entire summer long. The first batch of bricks is rapidly running out. So do me a favor. Make sure to write, you know, for a brick. That way I don't think that you're just like, oh, thank you. I guess you just randomly like me and are giving me money. Make sure to write for a brick on there, and then that way all the money will go into. I know that we already have enough for uh, like eight, nine bricks, um, maybe two of those, what, eight by eight or six by six? How big are they, Jammer B? Uh, eight by eight are the big ones. Eight by eight are the big ones, and we get to put custom graphics on those. So we'll decide what those graphics are. We'll do like a special after show where we all hang out and decide how we're going to graffiti eyes because we already and again big big major thank you props to one jammer b he was the initial person who ran out of his own accord spent his own money and bought enough bricks to make a diamond to physically create a diamond of bricks on the twit brick house wall uh so we're going to if this man is committed enough to diamond club that he's willing to fork over his own cash and make that kind of thing happen then we are going to step up and we're going to represent on that wall when you look at it I want to see a whole bunch of nothing but love for Leo Laporte and the Twit Brick House. I want to see a lot of inside jokes, and uh, I want to make all of this stuff happen. Uh, so, with that in mind, if you have the money, buy a brick, buy a brick, and let's name it after each episode. If you don't have the money, you can chip in a buck or two. We're just trying to get at least one brick sold per episode, and so we're pooling all the money for NSFW at Brian at Schwood.com. On Hey, the only reason I, I called is I was just sitting out here by the pool and checking Twitter, and all these people were congratulating me, and uh, somebody mentioned NSFW show, and I, I, I missed the show, so I didn't know what you had done to me this time, like change me into a giant spider or, or, or what was going on, no, so I figured no, I'd check in. It, no, I, I promise you, there was no, there was no photoshopping. Uh, we had a guest uh, who, unfortunately, due to time constraints, we weren't able to get on. We had to bump. It's the first time we've ever had to bump a musical guest. He did not take it very well. Uh, unfortunately, he had a poor, he was in his poorly lit kitchen, so it was very difficult to see his face. All people could tell was that he had a beard, and a bunch of people started. You, you know how the chat room can be. They're all like, "Oh, it's Tomas Marie. I saw a beard." And it's not okay. It's 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 beardist. And uh, quite frankly, I I am not in support of it. And I would appreciate if you guys would. Anyway, I I, I guess I, I guess I understand. So a guy with a beard was on, and and everybody thought it was you know, oh, it must be Tom because guy's got a beard. But why were they congratulating me if you didn't have time for him? The poor guy had been on hold for like 20 freaking minutes, and I guess he was under the impression that. By the way, if you want to look him up, he's online right now. It's it's um, uh, what was his name? Old uh, uh, old at old John Smokey. 
at old oh, like John on Twitter? Stokey. It's clear. I mean, you see from his tweets, he was very excited to come on the show. And uh, unfortunately, you know, we had to bump him, and he didn't take it very well. So he very explosively marched off. And I guess for the people who oh. thought that was you, which, again, we've said, look, yes, he has a beard. Oh, a beard. I see. Yeah. Let's not be beard bearded about this whole thing. Um, he doesn't look anything like me, though. Well, no, like, I mean, he doesn't look like that, a little kid. In that picture. Uh, he, I mean, he does look totally legit, is what it looks like. Um, that's that's before he grew the beard. Why why did you have to bump him from the show if you're still on? We well, look, uh, as you know, uh, we run a very tight schedule on NSFW. Uh -huh. We are timely and we're precise. He gets to that one hour. We uh, we have a hard out. We have a commitment and. At one o look, here's the thing. We don't make the Twitch schedule. And the Twitch schedule says that at one hour, NSFW show ends and the after show begins. We would have loved to have him, but he wasn't booked on the after show. We had to end NSFW show. We had to bump him. We were up against a totally separate show called the NSFW after show. And it was, it was rough. It was rough. And it, and it killed me.